So hi there, today we're going to be talking about the fourth installment for Hotel Transylvania. I did not think that they would come out with another movie, but they're really milking this thing. I'm not a super fan of this franchise, I just really follow it because I love the characters and the Halloween vibe of it. Halloween is my favorite season. I really loved the first movie though, the second and third ones were pretty forgettable but they did tackle some meaningful subjects around family and acceptance and stuff like that so I'm still glad they exist. I also just really like watching these movies for the characters. Count Dracula is a really eccentric, quirky, maternal, paternal figure and <laughs> Mavis and Johnny's love is quite cute. The whole cast is just really lovable in general. Our main topic of conversation for today though is the fourth installment and how the appearance of one character was finally revealed and it had people feeling quite disappointed over it. <laughs> and that character is our lovable invisible man who is revealed in the fourth movie with his human form looking unappealing to most probably and yeah a lot of people are angry about it and there's even a petition to make his character design better okay let's see what we have here make the hotel transylvania invisible man hot 29,141 people have signed oh my goodness okay let's see what she has to say miss layana cloet so ha, huh, I just saw the trailer of Hotel Transylvania 4 and the movie seems really cool as usual, but what's with Griffin? I thought he'd be hot. We all did. We had such high hopes for him. So please, please, please give us a hot Griffin. Broken heart emoticon. A tall and nerdy curly haired boy, Matthew Gray Gobler style. Not a want, but a need. Thank you, the Invisible Man Sims community. Now, Sony has given into redesigns in the past. Like with the Sonic movie, the first design really was a mishap on their part. And we're quite thankful that they corrected it. For this movie though, I really wondered why they chose the Invisible Man's appearance to be the way it is. And I would like to explore that in this video. So that by the end of this video, we can come to a conclusion whether to sign that petition or not. So, now why is this even important to talk about in the first place? Well, because works of popular culture influence us. Whether we want it to or not, there is a conscious or subconscious effect on us. Especially for works of art made primarily for a young audience. We all know that kids are very impressionable. And this is a movie which generations and generations of children will watch and rewatch. So I think it's really important that we critically analyze the decisions made for such pieces of art, you know? <laughs> Even something that seems as inconsequential as the appearance of a character in this movie could have a really big impact. And the fact alone that many people are pissed by it just proves that we need to talk about it and we need to debunk why we feel the way we feel about this character not meeting our ideal standard for him. I just know that I want my future theoretical kids and the kids of any future generation in general to consume good art so it's important we start discussions about it so it'll eventually like reach people in higher places that this stuff really impacts us greatly and they probably know that and they have a team of designers for every character of their movie so i think making the invisible man appear this way really is a good decision to do and i'll talk about it later in this video i am really sweaty <laughs> but for now let's justify why we are so angry with the way he looks. So first off, I just want to read the comments for the trailer of this movie because they're funny, they're quite funny. <laughs> so I know the fandom did not simp for the invisible guy for years, only for him to turn out like this. LMAO, if Catfish was a character. <laughs> Relationship tip number one. Do not simp for a guy based on his voice. Had to learn that the hard way. Sad emoji. My issue isn't that the invisible man isn't hot because I didn't simp for him in the first place, but that he literally looks like the Discord moderator stereotype mixed with that stuck-up kid from Barnyard. What happened? <laughs> and then finally, the fact that they have the audacity to make the zombie super hot and the invisible guy look like the unemployed uncle with coffee and computer problems. <laughs> okay, so these comments have a a lot of likes which proves that the majority of us did have the assumption that he was supposed to be attractive <laughs> now i just want to justify these assumptions they are not based off of nothing first of all his name is griffin and in the literary world 
Descriptions really aren't enough to give us a clear idea in our minds of what a character looks like. So we have to like intuitively infer from the names of what their appearances will feel like. Which is why authors don't just willy-nilly come up with a name. It usually takes days of research to figure out what name best suits the appearance of the character in the author's mind. So there's a whole study done which proves that people do look like their names and there's a good video on YouTube about it. I will link it in the description box down below. But for me personally, Griffin sounds like a hippie kind of guy who is attractive and who possibly has a really nice molder. <laughs> I imagine his parents to be like rich hippies who want their chad looking kid to be named like a chad but a more unique chad so they went with griffin another assumption i also get from this name though is that a griffin will probably peak in his 30s or something and then slowly decline and maybe that's why we see his character design like that. Hmm. But we can also tell from his voice in the first, second, and third movies that he sounds quite young and confident and, yeah, attractive. If casting directors wanted people to imagine the Invisible Man as unattractive, they would have cast someone like Danny DeVito to voice him instead of David Spade, okay? Also, his personality doesn't hint at all that he's insecure. He knows he has red curly hair, so he must have been uninvisible at some point for him to know that. And he probably saw himself in the mirror and was like, I look pretty good and I have no reason to be insecure, so that's that. We also know that he produced some workout videos when he realized that monsters were a mainstream thing. And I don't know about you, but to me, he seems like quite the fitness enthusiast who wouldn't let himself go when he reached 40 or something. My logic is just telling me that, just me. So when I was younger, a part of me did really think that he looked attractive and for the majority of the time I imagined him the way this person imagined Griffin and yeah I think that's an accurate portrayal of him from what we know he only really showed like a little bit of insecurity during the second movie where it seemed like he was faking his girlfriend at that time but then in the third movie we know that she's real after all part of the reason though why I believed he wasn't gonna be that attractive was because he is friends with other middle-aged men who have kind of like let go of themselves like Frank the mummy and the werewolf guy. Count Dracula is the only other really attractive character here aside from Mavis. Daddy Drac still got his game. <laughs> but I was, I was really pissed off when that butler turned out to be more handsome than our invisible man, you know? <laughs> his personality and voice and glasses and name all had us believing that he was this adorkable, confident, somewhat attractive guy. And so it's only natural that we feel betrayed when our assumptions... And so it's only natural that we feel betrayed when our assumptions of him didn't add up. And you know, I think there's a reason why these assumptions don't add up. One of the comments said it best, this isn't the visible form of invisible man. This is his human form. And I think it's in line with the mummy as well. Like the mummy as a human does not look like his mummy form at all. The invisible man himself was very shocked that he was balding. Some people have reasoned that because he is invisible, he won't be able to tell if his appearance has changed and I'm like, what? He still has his sense of touch, so he can definitely feel when he's going bald or getting fat. Therefore, he wouldn't be shocked at the realization that he is actually bald. At first, I thought their human forms were totally random, just like with Johnny's monster form. I'm not a big fan of his monster, by the way. What, what does that look so cartoony? I do not like his design, but that's my personal preference. It just looks too comical, similar to Johnny's personality, I guess. But you know, upon analyzing it further, I realized that their human forms are the complete opposites of their monster forms. Like, Drac loses his super strength and therefore his muscles. Frankenstein suddenly becomes really attractive compared to his grotesque stitched up zombie form. The mummy is the most obvious one of all. You know, he's this big immortal being and then suddenly he becomes this frail old man. <laughs> so I think, I believe, the Invisible Man is actually quite attractive and his human form is the antithesis of his monster forms. I didn't mention the werewolf character here because his human form really doesn't go through a significant difference apart from his fur coat 
falling off so i think he's just gonna remain the static character i don't know let me know in the comments down below what kind of growth you think he'll obtain in this movie or maybe he'll realize nothing at all by the end of this story so they have a whole team of designers which know that the way they look should contribute to the story and the lessons we'll learn from this movie basically the main conflict we see here is that dracula doesn't really accept johnny still and Johnny believes it's because he is human, so he transforms into a monster, accidentally turning the other monsters into humans as well. Now, in the first Hotel Transylvania movie ever, we saw about how humans had accepted and even embraced monsters. Now, in this movie, we see it's the monster's turn to really accept humans by being the ones in their shoes literally. I'm really excited with how the monsters will tackle the problems that humans face on a daily basis, like with Murray's mortality and frailty and Dracula's loss of strength, Frankenstein's newfound fame and adoration thanks to becoming attractive and how that'll affect him, and to me the most interesting one of all, Invisible Man's. The Invisible Man will realize how hard humans have it because they're constantly facing each other's judgment on something as trivial as appearances. Something that the Invisible Man has never had to struggle with before. He will likely go through the struggle of being criticized for not looking the way his friends expected him to look. As we can see in how the Invisible Man's fandom is going crazy about him not being attractive. Which is why I won't sign the petition because I'm really excited to see how Sony will execute this. Knowing from their past Hotel Transylvania movies, they have handled the themes pretty nicely and it's all usually tied together by a really neat ribbon which teaches kids and parents nice things. Hopefully by the end, the Invisible Man will come to accept himself and teach the audience that it's okay to look different than what people expect you to look like. That appearances may seem like it's everything, but it really isn't. Also, if you fall for the Invisible Man's personality, then his looks really shouldn't bother you. The fact that his middle-aged, balding, bulging belly bothers a lot of people just proves how they were in love with the image they had of him in their heads and not for who he really is even though many people think that they like him because he's adorable and whatnot they really like him for how they envision him to be if i were the invisible man i'd be so disappointed in our society but kind of expect them to react that way like what, just because I look like this, I'm no longer attractive to you? Nice, real nice. I think in this fourth movie, we'll see that he's still that adorable, invisible man that we all have come to love and we'll see past the appearances and through to the other qualities which make him such a great character. And I'll read them to you now from the Hotel Transylvania wiki fandom. <laughs> so his personality is witty, dry, loyal awkward really and that's it <laughs> but he seems like a decent person and i think we'll really see him shine in this fourth movie i don't know i hope so <laughs> in short i think this movie will have a lot to teach us about empathy and treating each other nicely yeah <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video let me know in the comments below if i was able to change your mind and if you agree with me that this is the route this is the route that they will take for the movie. This is my first like commentary type videos and I am not that good at it yet, but I hope I hope to improve and I hope you subscribe to encourage me to keep making this these videos. So yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Damn. Damn son, that's some wet armpit right there.